I thought he might have a quest for me or something, but I guess not. <clears throat> Alright. So what are we going to do next? No goals. We have to get our goals. Rose said she needs some equipment. Let's talk to the bartender first. Pick your poison. No, I don't, think I don't need anything. Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting here. feel like reading all that. You know how in the movies there's always a drunk who sees something fantastic and looks down at his bottle and throws it away? Well, I'm not that guy. In fact, I've always wondered if I'd react calmly to seeing something fantastic. I think I'm doing pretty well, don't you think? It's quite fascinating to watch, actually. Greetings, I'm Trader Bot Lama Lao. Want a Lama Lu. Want to trade? Uh, let's see, he can sell a life flower petal. And I still don't know what you do there. Let's talk to Ro, see what she needs. <coughs> so will you help me get the scientific equipment I need to process my readings? Depends, what's this equipment? First piece of equipment is the tachyon decay detector. It will help me determine the source of the rift that splits sunder. The second piece is a field transduction module, which is the key core element of the tachyon decay detector. It'll be harder to get our hands on it since it's a biohazard and illegal in this sector of the galaxy. So will you help me get the scientific equipment I need to process my readings? Where do we find a tachyon decay detector? There's a tachyon decay detector in the Center Theoretical Science Museum just down the street. It's a prototype I built back when the galaxy still took me seriously. I figure we can ask for it nicely. And if they don't hand it over, we'll improvise. Where can we get our hands on a field transduction module? Like I said, that's going to be a tough one. The red light district is a good place to score black market items. An excursion might be in order. Now you're talking, sister. I've got a drinking buddy who dabbles in black market dirt. His name's Kavester. I'm sure the bum can hook us up if he's still around. Fine, I'll take this case, pro bono. But once we get your equipment, I'm out of here. I appreciate it. Let's talk to Grump... Well, let's talk to Grumpos here. So are we going to Hephaestus or what? Slow your roll, Pops. Why Hephaestus? Hephaestus is home to the Order of Mysterium, a sect of ascetic monks dedicated to the study of mystic. They have an extensive library that may hold an all-important detail that will complete my work on the modular mystic system. It appears that some types of mystech have an array of slots built into them. I suspect an element can be placed into those slots which might allow us to modify the original functionality of the mystech. But I need to know what element is, what that element is, and I'm sure the mystech library on Hephaestus holds the answer. So are we going to Hephaestus or what? Let me think about getting that equipment for Roe. Well, Dr. Pullman's mystech was glowing when Sunder got split in half. I'm sure there's a very important connection between the two. But right now, our priority is the modular mystech system. We have an opportunity to unlock a flexible, extremely powerful side of mystech that no one has ever seen before. Besides being potentially very lucrative, it would give us the edge we need against whoever or whatever was powerful enough to split Sunder in half. So are we going to Hephaestus or what? Now we're going to stay put for now. We'll go later. Let's talk to Pal. What do you want, chomp about murderer? Congrats, Slugger. You're one of us now. You're self-aware. Does this mean you're going to stop treating me like a little kid? Well, I guess you have been pretty handy lately. You bet I have, and this is just the beginning. Just wait and see. Well, what are you waiting for, buddy? Saddle up. I'm going to do something impressive. You'll see. All right. Let's see if we can hand this guy some tacos. I'm hoping collectors will shift their attention to Mystic, leaving the market wide open for tacos. By the way, are you aware there's a planet floating behind you? No, well, I guess I... yeah, I was aware of that. After much debate, the High Council of Democritus has unanimously voted to join you on your travels. Unanimous? I had plenty of objections. Your objections were overruled, Councilman. Step down. Not until my objections have been noted for the record. 
They have been noted. Please step down. Oh, excuse us. As we were saying, we would be honored to join you on your quest. It's the least we can... What if they don't even want our help? Councilman, you will not be warned again. Step down immediately. <clears throat> Joining your quest is the least we can do for saving us. Our planet is at your disposal. Uh, you've lost weight. We've had the technology to shrink the planet down to this size for many years, but we could never find a practical application for it. Until now. We're afraid of other hives will seek revenge against us. This seems like an elegant solution to our problem. You can't do it, destroy a planet that's not there. We thought we might as well assist you in the process. Yes, well, that too, of course. We're very grateful. Why didn't you shrink and hide from the hive in the first place? Oh, we didn't think of that. Correction, we did think of that. More than once, I might add. But the bombs were targeting the ring's heat signature. Even if we ran away, the bombs would have followed us wherever we went. And imagine how much more damage that would have done to the planet. And the ring. We would have been destroyed completely. Horrible. Order. Order. Excuse us, sir. We're just very all excited by the new experience. It's a wonderful opportunity for our world to see different parts of the galaxy. We've had a hard-line isolationist policy for many decades. But in recent years, the public has be been growing restless for more contact with outworlders. This will be an experiment to see if we want to allow the galaxy into our home. Because we serve the people. Yes, the people. Have you met the people? The people are splendid. We love the people. Oh yes, we love the people. But sometimes the people are complicated. That's why it's so difficult for us to make decisions sometimes. Because the people. Yes, not worth that we're blaming them. Oh, no, no, no. We love the people. Have you met them? Okay, okay, let's go, 8-Ball. I ain't got all day. God, I love Boots' dialogue. Splendid. This is all very exciting. Someone better stay behind before the do party gets too big. Uh, we'll leave Pal here for now. And uh, we're going to go to the Red Light District. But first... Once more... Notice how Democritus spins around as he walks. Let's see what happens when we talk to other people with Democritus now. You're quite fascinating to watch, actually. Aren't dark corners the best places to unwind? I love watching the shadows on the wall. Well, that he didn't say anything interesting. I wonder if, what she'll say. Nothing interesting. Here we are, it's nighttime at Sender Station now. Look at Ria Ria bragging about his investments. Tch, I bet my portfolio is bigger than his. My investments are firmer and last longer. Naughty sent you? Why didn't you say so in the first place? You need tickets? How many? Where? Um. I don't need to go to Sunder. Sunder is destroyed, so I think that's a uh, little bit of a bug there. Hey, you make an opportunities for yourself. If you don't have the stomach for what it takes to succeed, you're a loser. Tell me more, Master Ria. You're not important in my life, and I doubt you're very important in yours either. You carry your insignificance well. I'm a whole planet, dude. Don't insult me. Life sucks. <sighs> yeah, life does suck, doesn't it? Talk to the guy hiding around. Uh, blah, that's for the ticket. We don't need the ticket. Then I could kill all four of them. So a lot of these people are just saying the same things they said before. Here's the Send Dormitory. Ah, this would be a good opportunity, I think, to demonstrate Democritus's special ability. You probably don't remember this, but 